It's been about two years since Tyler the Creator dropped Call Me If You Get Lost. And if you know Tyler the Creator, you know that he tends to drop music every other year. So it being 2023 and Call Me If You Get Lost having dropped in 2021, it's about time for new music, right? Uh, I guess we don't have to wait too long, though, because he just dropped a new track titled Dog Food, which is apparently going to be on the deluxe edition of Call Me If You Get Lost, the estate sale, which drops this Friday, March 31st. Now, this isn't obviously a full album from him, so maybe we will get an album, but this time is different because, you know, normally he'll have a bunch of music, right? And he doesn't always release it, but according to him, this time around, he had a bunch of music that he felt like he actually wanted to put out, and uh, here it is. He didn't want it to just sit and <laughs> rot away. Uh, so without further ado, let's go bar for bar and break down these lyrics. If you're new here, these breakdowns are where I go through and read the lyrics to a song and give my interpretation of what the artist is trying to say. My interpretation is not always correct and I do miss things, so if I've missed something or misinterpreted anything, please let me know in the comments below. That way, everyone gets to learn. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. So the song starts off with an intro. She could rob my face, I don't want nothing in return. Her body counting who she fuck ain't never my concern. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house. Yep, yeah. he starts off the song with basically just how he feels. <laughs> um, he he just he just wants her to sit on his face. He he doesn't want anything back in return. <laughs> um, and he's like, nah, her body count don't matter because that's kind of weird that you be like judging people for people they've been with and all that. Um, and then he goes on to be a rich man and talk about buying his neighbor's house. This then goes in the chorus, which is very similar to the intro. So, you know, still, you know, j just ride his face. He doesn't care. Uh, except all he wants now in return is her time and love. And, you know, that's, that's all he cares about. He just wants affection. <laughs> um, and then, you know, it, what he's trying to do with that neighbor's house is turn it into a yard for his house. And if you don't know his grandma's name, you don't really know him. You ain't, you ain't cool like that. You ain't really dogs. This then goes into the first verse. I shook your hand. I don't respect. Don't call me king. I'm not your twin. I'm not your brother. We just met. See, I won't purchase. No Birkin. <laughs> Tyler uh, is tired of y'all coming up to him, acting as if y'all know each other real well. He's like, don't come up to me and call me king. I'm not your twin. I'm not your brother. Like, I just met you. You don't know me. You don't know me like that. You only know of me. I don't even know who you are. How could we be this? Like, how are you calling me these things? Um, I'm not sure if he's talking about, like, other rappers who do that or just people in general. But, you know, it's funny nonetheless. Got hobbies, got purpose, got bumpers, I'm perfect. Yeah, Kelly Green Wagon look better when the gloom I can never shine brighter in the dark. I bought the moon. I so he's he's got hobbies, he's got purpose, he's got he does things, he's got thumpers, he's got jams. <laughs> like he he is a well rounded person. All these things that he does in rap, like that's not all he does. Like he's talking about a Kelly Green Wagon, like a vehicle. <laughs> like it looks better when it's gloomy out. Um and then he's talking about the i'm assuming another car a canary car um a canary colored car sorry it just shines brighter in the dark and he he brought the moon out um at that point i think he could be talking about jewelry too but you know he's he's just talking about himself now the, the things that he he has the things he likes the plane fly better when it's just me and the pilot to wish him for the mileage it's worth it for the side the plane flies better when it's just him and the pilot like he doesn't he doesn't like being around people he doesn't like being around other people in the plane because you know sometimes people in planes is weird um and it, it's very expensive it costs a tuition to, to to fly but he he believes it's worth it because it's silent and he it, he can relax then i got that and I got good dick, guap long, dick long, plus I look good, bitch. He got that fire, and apparently he, <laughs> he apparently got good dick. Um, his money long, his dick long, and he looks good, bitch. <laughs> this then goes into the chorus, which is the same as before, and then the second verse. Bitch, that's a lot of motherfucking necklace. Five, 
five, six, seven is the figure for a set list. Yeah. Ring, 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 bitch, pick up the phone. I don't care if y'all together, I will tell down a home shit. That's a lot of motherfucking necklace, which is direct reference to uh, that loiter squad <laughs> um, video. Come here, candy boy. Why you got so many necklaces? Oh, Why you got necklaces? Five six seven is a figure four set list. Yeah, if he if he's gonna perform a set, he's he's gonna he's gonna charge a lot. Um, starting price seems to be five zeros. Kind of continuing on the the story of Call Me Get Lost, where he he took somebody's girl. <laughs> um, he's like, pick up the phone. I don't care if y'all together. I'm gonna tear down your home. Like I, <laughs> he's gonna do what he wants, basically. I should meet you, Perry, and back a phantom of the threads. A driver's seat of the Enzo could barely fit my leg. And Virgil, my chaperone, he look out from overhead. Not sure what you overheard, but it's probably what I said, bitch. He's driving around through Paris in a phantom. Um, he's talking about his cars again that he can barely fit in an Enzo, uh, which you know makes sense. I don't know if that Tyler's particularly tall, but I know these supercars are pretty tight. Um, Virgil is a chaperone. R.I.P. Virgil. He's looking, he's looking down from above, and then he's not sure what you overheard. But no, he he probably said that. If if it sounds like something he said, or if you heard someone said that he said this, he probably did say it. I'm out here living, y'all on the feed. My girl look like Zazie Beats and Khalees. I pull up in the what the fuck is that, dog? It's Mr. Peculiar. That's who I be. Who I be? He's really out here. He's outside. Everyone else is just on Twitter or Instagram. It's just, they're just looking at their feeds. They're not actually doing things. Um, and he's talking about how his girl allegedly looks like Zazie Beats and Khalees, which is a interesting combination of people, <laughs> I suppose. But sure, totally. Um, and then he pulls up in the what the fuck is that dog? Like, Tyler, if, I mean, you, you, he's been... He's had interesting cars. He's had interesting things his entire life. But he's Mr. Peculiar. That's that's just who he is. He's always been like this. He's always been doing interesting things. And I don't think he's doing it to be weird necessarily. It's just things that he likes. Niggas telling women how they body supposed to be, but never take advice from any nigga with a lean gut. Keep your chair rocking and my two cents in your pocket. Your only option. I don't play no motherfucking game. And then he just kind of goes straight into body positivity somehow. Or not really, I guess, because he's like, oh, there's these people telling women that this is how their body's supposed to be. But he's like, nah, don't don't take advice from people with this lean gut. But it also, you know, it's like, okay, different ways, I guess. Like, you have these people who are saying these things, who are just behind a screen, who are, you know, just the stereotypical internet people. But then you also have people who are literally, like, they have a lean gut, their stomach's pretty flat. And they're like, oh, I could, I did this, you could do that too. Like, you know, there's that whole stigma of body, po like, not necessarily body positivity, like, people who have, I guess, the accepted body style, like, they're pushing it on other people. But then, the other way is lean gut. Like, if you drink a lot of lean, you got, <laughs> you got a lean gut. Like, you're not, not, like, maybe, maybe people shouldn't listen to you for health advice. <laughs> um, keep your chair rocking in my two cents in your pocket. Like, just, you know, whatever I said, just keep it there. Think about it. Um, just keep everything rocking. But, you know, I don't play no motherfucking games. This then goes into the final chorus, which is different from before. He could rob my face, I don't want nothing in return. And will I ever fall in love again? I can't confirm. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house and turn it to a yard. If you don't know my daughter name, then we ain't really... First line is the same. Sit on, sit on his face. <laughs> That's all he wants. Um, but will he ever fall in love, with him? love again? He can't confirm. He doesn't know. And based on, you know, the story of the album, sure. I could see that as a possibility. Um, and then he, he said, if you don't know my daughter's name, then we ain't really dogs. Uh, he does not have a daughter, nor does he plan on having kids, allegedly. Uh, I think he just threw that in there because it sounded cool. And then uh, then we have an outro where he's basically saying, y'all can't say nothing, dog tooth, dog tooth. Which, according to the internet, is a reference to the film Dog Tooth, where they basically created a different language where like words did not mean what they traditionally mean, something like that. Um, I haven't watched it. That might be a reference to it. I don't know. But that is a song.
overall, I thought it was pretty cool. It definitely does sound like a song from a deluxe edition of an album. Uh, it definitely sounds like it was something that was recorded during the Call Me If Get Lost sessions. Don't know that it necessarily needed to come out. But in general, I feel like the bar for deluxe projects are pretty low. Uh, so, you know, whatever. Um, the other concern, I guess, is like, are we going to continue the trend where he's actually dropping new music, like an actual album every other year? Or is this going to take the place of it? Um, if it does, that's kind of a bummer. But whatever. Um, I'll get over it, I suppose. I mean, especially because I think that the, the, I don't know how many tracks the Deluxe is supposed to have, but it's supposed to be featuring like Pharrell, YG, Macehap. Like, so it, it's going to be a, a nice handful of songs. Um, I'm definitely interested to hear what it sounds like. I mean, it comes out on Friday, so not a long wait. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, and while you're down there, make sure you like and subscribe to see more breakdowns and content like this. Thank you for watching, and please stay safe out there.